Hey, what's up? This time I'm going to show you a quick little tip again on uh, something you can use in your applications. Because I'm currently re-recording my premium courses and also writing on an ebook about uh, freelancing, my total freelancing life in 10 years time. So that's why I don't have time to actually put out uh, an hour long tutorial here or something like that. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to create a spinner that you can use when loading stuff in your applications. It's really easy actually. and so that's what I want to show you, that there's nothing fancy going on if you want a rotating spinner that actually looks pretty cool. So I'm using Code Sandbox for this one. So I'm going to create a div here on the body. I'm going to give it an ID of spinner. Like this. And maybe I can bump up the size here. So I'm going to be in the styles file for the rest of this tutorial. So I'm gonna to go to the styles and then maybe I can close that panel and bump it up a little bit more. All right. So we're gonna style the spinner div, so spinner. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to set a border on the spinner. So border, it's gonna be five pixels solid and I'm gonna use a light gray color. You can of course choose whatever you want. I think I'm going to change this one also. Then I'm going to set the width to 50 pixels and the height to 50 pixels. And you can see that we have this uh, kind of square here, but we want it to be a circle. So we're also going to set the border dash radius to 50%. So there's our circle. Then if we want this to be kind of a rotating spinner, we can actually set the border top or any other border, but I choose border top, border dash top. I'm gonna to set that to five pixels also, and it's gonna be solid, and I set it to black. So there you have it, you can see that we have this border here. It looks like this circle is filled uh, one fourth of the size. All right, so the only thing we have left to do now is to, to animate it, and maybe I can give it some margin also, 20 pixels like this. So I'm going to set an animation on this one now. Animation, spin, one second. It's going to be linear and infinite. I call the animation spin. You can name it whatever you want. And then I'm going to create that animation down below here. At keyframes. Spin. And we're going to go from 0% and then we transform it, rotate zero degrees like that. And we're going to move to 100%, transform, rotate 360 degrees. We rotate it all around. And as you can see here, it starts spinning. So this is really all there is to it to create a cool little spinner that you can use when loading stuff in your application. And I'm actually using it in my courses. So that's why I thought I could show you this little quick tip. And that's it for this video. A few minutes of work to create a cool spinner. See you in another one.